evening, I'm Stephen Romo. Thanks for joining us. An update to breaking news. We are hearing from friends of a 43 year old man hit and killed by a Tulsa police car early this morning. Two news reporter Joe Hankey live outside Mad Murphy's bar with how Jimmy Moore's friends want him to be remembered. Joe. Well, Stephen, Jimmy Moore was last seen here alive outside of Mad Murphy's and the sign on the door here shows the impact he had on people. Mad Murphy's closed today, as it says, due to the death of a friend. Behind the emergency lights and the yellow caution tape on Lewis Avenue, there was a victim, 43-year-old Jimmy Moore. He brought a smile to everybody every day. Beyond the caution tape, you find the friends who say they were his family, who now feel like victims themselves. He's, he's loved by many, 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 many people, and our community lost a really wonderful guy. Officers say Moore left Mad Murphy's just after 1 this morning. He then crossed Lewis wearing dark-colored clothes, making it hard to see him. And even though he may have been drinking, friends say they don't think he was drunk, but did walk slow due to a disc problem in his back. He wouldn't have drunk waddled out into the middle of the street not knowing cars were coming. Because he knows he can't he walk knows. fast. Jimmy's friends looking for answers today, saying they could not find any skid marks on the road. Police say the officer didn't see Jimmy until the last second. And the injuries that he incurred They're, they hit him at full speed. After being hit with the loss of their friend, their family, those closest to Jimmy want him to be remembered for what he meant to them. And Jimmy was a real friend. He was a real friend. He really genuinely cared about all of us, just as we genuinely cared about him. And now they say they can only celebrate his life. Well, Jimmy's friends tell me when he left the bar here last night and was crossing Lewis, he was walking to his house only a few blocks away. Tulsa police tell 2 News once their investigation is complete, it will then be handed over to the DA's office, which will be responsible for deciding if any charges are filed. Live in Midtown tonight, Joe Henke, 2 News works for you. Joe, thanks. 2 News learning the TPD officer has not been put on administrative leave. A spokesman says their initial investigation did not show any improper action by that officer. 2 News will continue to monitor this story as the investigation into Jimmy Moore's death continues. Head to our website, KJRH.com, for more reaction to his passing.